Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is one I'm not too happy about having to make, but I, it's definitely necessary because I have to address um, a few concerns that people have brought up in the comments and uh, just talk about something that's been happening in Genesis recently. So some of you guys probably already know I've seen stuff in the comments. Um, some of you guys might not know anything. So just because there's that varying level of understanding, uh, I'm going to kind of just start at the beginning, address what went down. Um, not that big of a deal. This probably won't be that long of a video, but I think it's worth making a video. And unfortunately, that this might mean that I won't be able to upload again tonight, and I'll have to kind of wait for the next video to be tomorrow, because uh, I have a, a, a cool video in mind, but I might not be able to do that today with uh, having to make this video. So anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's just get right into it uh, regarding what happened. Keeping in mind that you know I don't, I don't know everything. Um, I have a few sources. I'm kind of going off what I've been told by people, what I've observed. Um, so if I am wrong, you know, let me know. But uh, I think for the most part, I have most of the facts at this point. Uh, basically, from what I've heard, Supercell came out with another round of bans on people using third-party software, and one of our members got hit by it. Uh, I'm kind of sad to say it's, it was a longtime OneHive member, I think he might have even been in a different One Hive part of the family before. I'm not exactly sure about his history, but he's been in the One Hive family for a long time. And just for transparency, uh, it was Karam. Uh, his in-game name was in Arabic, so it's probably not that easy to decipher that uh, that's pronounced Karam if you don't speak Arabic. But that's what it is, and that's who it is. Um, and he got banned for using third-party software. I don't know exactly what he was using. Um, it was a farming bot. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Uh, but for whatever reason, he was banned, and uh, it looks like he's not fighting it. He's just saying, yeah, that's legitimate. So I, that pretty much stops there. He's out of the clan. His account's been uh, deleted forever, so he lost that. Um, and typically, that would just be the end of it. But Supercell is kind of having a situation where I guess you could call it guilt by association and I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because I think the bans are a good thing they're keeping modders out of the game which pretty much everyone in the fair play community uh, agrees is a good thing so I don't want to sound like I'm complaining um, but just being factual uh, it's kind of a guilt by association type thing where members who ward with Karam even though they weren't using any third-party software, are banned from war. I think it's just a war ban. They can still get on their accounts. They can uh, do farming, do stuff like that, but they can't participate in war. Uh, kind of a weird thing. I think they're trying to kind of get at some of the clans that supposedly harbor modders or, or you know, know that people are modding. Um, you know, we didn't know he was involved in this using third-party software, but... I guess, you know, there's no way for Supercell to know that. So anyway, um, basically there was two farming wars. And by farming wars, I mean non-CWL wars. Uh, wars where it's just a random search. We had two wars that he participated in. And if a member in our clan also participated in both of those wars, uh, we found that they had also uh, received not a permanent ban, not even a ban, but just a war ban. And uh, if they if someone was only in one war with him and not the other or neither war, they weren't banned. So it had to be, I think, both those wars is what we found out after looking at the statistics of it. So that's a pretty big portion of the clan because most people do the random uh, war searches during the week. Most people just do the wars back to back with the rest of the clan. So it's a lot of people that are out of war for two weeks. And I'll get to the CWL implications in just a moment, but first, I want to say, just for the fairness, um, I don't believe that Karam was in any of the CWL matchups. Uh, I haven't been able to check. I actually tried to check the, the rosters in the uh, Discord. I couldn't find them in my short amount of time I was searching for them, 
but I just, off my memory at this point, I don't think he was in any of the CWL matchups. He's not quite that active, so I think he was just doing a few farming wars with us. Now, don't quote me on that. I'm not positive, and I do apologize if he was involved in the wars. Um, I don't know exactly what third-party software he was using. It might have just been a farming bot. I think it's kind of difficult to use uh, stuff that alters the war. Um, if like sandboxing war attacks, I think that's pretty difficult to do. Um, so I don't know if that's what he was doing, but if it is, and if that did affect CWL, I do sincerely apologize. Like I said, I don't think that's the case. I don't think he was in war. And if he was in war, I guess it's possible he could have been affecting the outcome by using this. Uh, I don't remember him being on any of the rosters, but like I said, I don't know for certain. Um, I might check back on that for you guys in case you're curious. I'll have to look into that further. But um, essentially, I think for the most part, uh, Genesis has been very upstanding uh, besides this one incident. This is something we didn't know about, and uh, we do apologize if it did happen to alter uh, any of the CWL results. Like I said, I doubt that's the case, but I want to get that out there just in case more stuff comes out that I don't know about. Um, so that being said, like I said, guys, it was only one person. So in a sense, that is somewhat good news. It's not like there was a big scandal. Just one person. But unfortunately, uh, this is getting into the next part. A lot of people had the guilt by association thing where they can no longer war for two weeks. Because of that, we have to forfeit our next two CWL matchups. In addition, our clan, One Hive Genesis, because of the there was a person in it participating in war, who was using third-party software. Uh, Genesis has faced a clan war ban where we can't do a war search in Genesis for two weeks. Uh, we will be warring out of Alpha. I'll be going over there pretty soon, I think, so you'll still see the war content. Now, we won't be able to show CWL matchups because we won't be in them uh, for the next two weekends, which is going to suck for the channel and just for us in general. Um, kind of ruins it to a certain extent, but... I guess, you know, it'll be nice to get back to it. I, As far as I am concerned, or as far as I know, I should say, I think that CWL is willing to, like, let us continue after the two-week ban. Um, if they don't, that would be unfortunate. I guess I could see where they were coming from. But I think it's just a two-week uh, two break from the CWL because we don't have the members to be able to put up a roster because so many people have that clan war, friendly cl uh, friendly war uh, ban on any type of war. So it really does suck. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to answer the comments. Uh, I can't guarantee if the comments blow up, I'll get to them uh, being busy with school and everything. So just know that I'm trying my best to get the facts out there in the most uh, logical explanation I can do. And I hope you guys um, are still excited for uh, content on the channel because I'll still be doing, uh, you know, videos pretty much every day, maybe every other day at some points during the week like I do. So should have a defensive video tomorrow. Get that attack meta video out soon. Still recording replays. It's tough to get some uh, because some attacks are rare, but uh, they are necessary to show in the video. So uh, all that being said, uh, like I said, just one member, fortunately, so nothing big happening in Genesis. Just unfortunately, a small uh, initiating point of this, a small uh, trigger kind of had a big splash, and it took out uh, the opportunity for us to do uh, CWL Wars next few weeks. So I'll stop rambling. Thanks for watching this whole video if you did, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.